ELO is the ranking system used on Board Game Arena to determine a player's strength at a certain game. Each board game has its own separate ELO and every player starts at zero. At the end of each game, you can hover over your new ELO to see how it was calculated. The difference in ELO between you and your opponent will assign you a percentage chance of winning the game. Against an opponent of equal ELO, you will have a 50% chance of winning. Against a stronger opponent, your winning chance will be less, meaning your reward for winning will be greater. Your reward is simply 1 minus your chance of winning. In this game, my chance of winning was 31%, so my gain was 0 0.069. Now, climbing the ladder in decimal places is not very inspiring or motivating, so your gain is multiplied by an arbitrary number called the k-factor. In most cases, this number will be 20, so my 0 0.69 gain multiplied by 20 becomes 13.71, which was my actual ELO gain for the match. A loss is calculated as 0 minus your chance of winning, so losing to a stronger opponent will not hurt as much. In the case of a tie, it will be 0 0.5 minus your chance of winning. Tying with someone you were expected to beat will lead to a net loss. Your k-factor will be different depending on how many games you have played. For your first 10 games, it will be 60. For games 11 to 20, it will be 40. And for games 21 and onwards, it will be 20. A higher k-factor results in greater ELO swings, and this is intentional for your first 20 games. The system is trying to place you at your true ELO. A higher k-factor just speeds up this process. You can never lose ELO below 100, and you will always gain at least one ELO after your first game. This is done to separate players who have and haven't played a game before. The formula changes slightly when working out your ELO for games with more than two players. Each person who places above you will count as a loss, while each person you place above will count as a win. This part of the calculation is normal until we reach the end result. There is another multiplier added depending on the number of players in the game. In this 4 player game of 4 sale, the end result is multiplied by 0.66. The number will be different depending on the game you are playing, but for the most part, the more players there are, the less you will gain or lose from each result. This is in place to reduce the variance in high player count games. As you can imagine, coming first or last in an 8 player game would be too rewarding or too punishing otherwise. Sometimes this will lead to the k-factor being displayed incorrectly on the results page, but rest assured it is being calculated correctly. If you ever want to check out the leaderboards, you can do so by visiting a games page, scrolling down and changing current season to all time. This will show the players with the highest ELOs for that game, provided they have played within the last 60 days. This is separate from Arena Mode, which has its own ranking system. Feel free to leave any questions you may have in the comments. Thanks for watching.